Welcome to Picks on the Bluffs Bowl Special NCAA Spectacular. I'm your host, Rich Richard, Rich Richardson the Third, with my lovely co-host, Sickly Sam. There. And well, we been we didn't do some videos for a while, but. We're always going to be here for the bowl special because That's there, it. there's always things to talk about during for the bowls, especially this year because there's the BCS really screwed up, but we'll get to it when we get there. Right, right. Uh, so today is, as of the recording, 12-12-2012. Mm -hmm. We're, let's see, if you believe in the Mayans, we're, what, nine days away from Apocalypse and... <laughs> Uh, 13, what, was it 13 days till Christmas, if you don't believe in the apocalypse? So, uh, let's go ahead and get to the picks. All right. Anything to say before we start with the picks? No, nope, let's go get them. All right, the, the, the December 15th bowl game, starting off Nevada and Arizona in the New Mexico Bowl. They call it the New Mexico Bowl, but there ain't no New Mexico team in here. Well, I, I, the names don't count for much. It's like, it's, what, I don't know. Just pick, I don't know. All I, right, we got 75 Nevada going against a 75 Arizona. I'm going to take the desert team and go with uh, 75 Arizona. Arizona, uh, let's see. Pretty much out throughout the year, you didn't hear nothing from Nevada. Arizona is actually up there in the race for the Pac-12, is it? I don't know, but yeah, I'm picking Arizona. And the and next up, Toledo and number 22, Utah State in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. All right, Toledo coming in there at 9-3, going against a number 22 rank, 10-2, Utah State. I'm taking uh, Utah this is a no question bowl. Utah State will get a win. They'll probably get the trophy full of potatoes. They're gonna get a they're gonna make it a mashed potato bowl. Woo! What are you looking for over there? Parbetty. Oh. We got a black cat on the run on the run. Next up, we skip five days and go to do, go to December twentieth where BYU faces San Diego State in the Poinsettia Bowl. All right, um, I got San Diego State coming in there at 9-3. and three. That's who I'm taking. And what's BYU's record? I didn't see them for BYU. Uh, well, that means BYU sucks. San Diego State's going to win. Right. Uh, next day, UCF faces Ball State in the Beef O'Brady's Bowl. Right. 9-4 UCF against a 9-3 Ball State. Taking uh, UCF on this one. Well, it's, <coughs> I don't think either of us has picked against each other because I'm taking UCF. That's, that's all I can say. Uh, next day, East Carolina and L.A. Lafayette face off in the New Orleans Bowl. East Carolina coming in at 8-4 against uh, Lafayette 8-4. I'm taking uh, Lafayette. Well, we finally have a little bit of difference. Uh, to me, I thought it was a coin flip, and well, East Carolina is kind of closer to us, so I took East Carolina. Uh, let's see, same day, Washington and number 19, Boise State, in the Mako Bowl. Washington coming in at 7-5, and, and Boise State at 10-2. and two. I'm taking Boise State on this. Yeah, I'm, Washington is, it's, it's there, but I think Boise State's still a stronger team, so... Go with the the thunder and her, it's not thunder and her whatever they're horses. Uh, we skip a day and then go to the Christmas Eve Fresno State and SMU in the Hawaii Bowl. Fresno State ranked uh, nine and three against SMU. I'm taking Fresno State. Uh, yeah, it looked to me like Fresno State was a a stronger team throughout the year and spending. Christmas Eve in Hawaii is not a bad deal getting in a bowl. So Fresno State will win. All right, we skip Christmas 
and then go to December 26th where West Kentucky faces off with Central Michigan in the Little Caesars Bowl. Pizza, pizza. Um, seven and five, Western Kentucky against a six and six Central Michigan, taking Kentucky. Uh, I went against y'all. Picked Central Michigan. I guess an upset since the records are flip flop. But uh, uh, that's really that's a this is a, one of the little little bowls. Uh, to skip to December twenty seventh. San Jose State faces Bowling Green in the Military Bowl. San Jose State coming in at 10 and 2 against an 8 and 4 Bowling Green. I'm taking San Jose State. Yeah, it sounded like a sound pick to me. San Jose State has been strong. Salute. Right. Uh, the same day, Cincinnati faces our first ACC team, Duke, in the Belk Bowl. Duke finally Belk got Bowl. to a bowl. Belk Bowl? Belk. You know the store, Belk? Oh, I thought it Belk. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> just no. Three Cincinnati against the 6-6 six six Duke. I'm taking Cincinnati. Yeah, Duke has yes, finally got to a bowl after a long drought. Doesn't mean they're going to win it. Cincinnati goes on a shopping spree, I can I say. Uh, still the same day, Baylor faces number 17 UCLA in the Holiday Bowl. Yes, uh, um, Baylor 75 against UCLA 94. Um, I'm taking UCLA on this one. Yeah, UCLA had to face Stanford twice. Couldn't beat them either time, so they got forced to this uh, January this uh, this bad bowl. But they'll, they'll win it, I think. Baylor will give them a little bit of competition, but I think UCLA will end up winning it. Uh, December 28th, we first uh, first bowl is Ohio facing L.A. Monroe in the Independence Bowl. Ohio coming in at 8-4 and four and L.A. Monroe coming in at 8-4. and four. I'm taking uh, Ohio on this. Uh, another toss-up bowl. I went with L.A. Monroe just because I don't know who Ohio Ohio. Uh, same day, Rutgers faces Virginia Tech in the Russell Athletic Bowl. Rutgers coming in at 9-3 against Virginia Tech, 6-6. Six six. I'm taking the Rutgers on this one. Yeah, even though Rutgers is coming off two losses and Virginia Tech is coming in on two, which got them bowl eligible, uh, I'm going with Rutgers just because I think... Uh, the ACC just wasn't that strong this year on that side. Uh, let's see. And the last tw December 28th Bowl, Minnesota facing Texas Tech in the Meineke Car Care Bowl. All right, Minnesota coming in at 6-6 six six against 7-5 Texas Tech. I'm taking Tech on this one. Uh, Tech is a strong team, and that's who I'm picking. All right, we have five, count them, five bowls on December 29th. First up, the Armed Forces Bowl, Rice and Air Force. Um, I don't plan on, uh, I see Rice is 6-6 six and, six and Air Force is 6-6 six and, six and it's the Armed Forces Bowl. I think Air Force is going to make Minute Rice. Air Force all the way. <laughs> Minute Rice. I'm picking Air Force just because it's the Armed Forces. And yeah, they're. That's, that's it. Dog is barking now. Uh, let's see. West Virginia and Syracuse in the Pinstripe Bowl. West Virginia 75, Syracuse 75. I'm taking the Mountaineers, West Virginia. Yeah, West Virginia went from being in the Orange Bowl last year to, well. A suck ball this year, but I'm not counting that. Uh, I'm not going to count them out this year. I'm picking West Virginia. Of course, you do know who they played in the Orange Bowl last year, and that, that's why I didn't pick them. But what well, we want that that is something I don't talk about. Right, right. If you want to know, watch last year's bowl special. It's a good video. Uh, Navy at and Air. Da -da 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 -da. Navy and Arizona State in the Craft Fight Hunger Bowl. 7-4 Navy and 7-5 Arizona State. 
Navy all the way. Uh, not that Navy's a bad team. I just think Arizona State's a better team. It's I've heard more of Arizona State through the season. All right, the first bowl to have two ranked teams in it. Number 23, Texas, and number 13, Oregon State, in the Alamo Bowl. Alamo. 8-4, uh, Texas, 9-3, Oregon State. I'm taking the Ducks on this one. Oregon, Oregon State's Beavers. Oregon. Oregon State's Beavers. All right, we'll go Beavers in. Uh, okay. Retard. Uh, I also picked the Beavers. It's... Texas was all right, and then, I, then they showed me that they can lose to TCU, who is up next. Uh, so, yeah, Oregon State wins. Next up, TCU and Michigan State in the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl. In the BW3 Bowl. Uh, taking 7-5 TCU in a 6-6 six six Michigan State, I'm taking TCU. TCU is a strong team. They showed me that with their final two wins. Uh, if you can, go watch it at Buffalo Wild Wings. That place is great. Um, so I'm taking TCU. Uh, so we skip a day, go to December 31st. We have four more bowls here. Uh, the first ACC versus SEC Bowl, North Carolina State and Vanderbilt in the Music City Bowl. North Carolina State coming in at seven and five against an eight and four Vanderbilt. Picking Vanderbilt on this one. Uh, just because I haven't picked a ACC team yet to win, I gotta pick North Carolina State. It, uh, hopefully, it's. I'm thinking it would be a toss-up game, but I think North Carolina State can pull out a win. Uh, USC and Georgia Tech in the Sun Bowl. Seven and five USC against. The Ramblin' Wreck at Georgia Tech, 6 and 7. I'm taking USC. I think this should be a no-brainer. US, I don't think, see how Georgia Tech got a this late of a bowl game, being as there, there's a phone, another phone going off. Georgia Tech had to get a permission to go even go to a bowl, seeing as they're 6 and 7. But USC wins this. Uh, Iowa State and Tulsa in the Liberty Bowl. Iowa State six and six and Tulsa ten and three. I'm taking Tulsa. Uh, another <laughs> no brain bowl. Going Tulsa. This should be easy. And the bowl I will not be attending, but I will be watching very, very intently. Number eight LSU and number fourteen Tigers of Clemson in the Chick Fil A Bowl. Yeah, whatever. Um, 10 and 2 Tigers against 10 and 2 Clemson. I'm taking LSU on this. I figured you'd be taking LSU, but I gotta pick my Tigers. Uh, there's only a four point differential of the winner, so maybe we'll have a chance if Todd Boyd doesn't try to do everything on his, put everything on his own shoulders. And now we go to our the big games, the January 1st games. Uh, starting off with the games that we'll be attending. Mississippi State and number 20 Northwestern at the Gator Bowl. 8-4 Mississippi State against a 9-3 Northwestern. I'm taking Northwestern. You're going with Northwestern. I'm going to go with Mississippi State. SEC all the way. All right. Purdue at Oklahoma State in the Heart of Dallas Bowl. Heart of Dallas. And they're... Not even a down team here. Uh, six and six Purdue and a seven and five Oklahoma State. I'm taking Oklahoma State. Taking Oklahoma State. Uh, it sounds good to me. It's the closest to Dallas, so let's go with it. The Outback Bowl, with its usual attenders, South Carolina, at number ten and number eighteen Michigan. Uh, South Carolina coming in at ten two. Michigan eight and four. I'm taking the Gamecocks on this one. Uh, with South Carolina and uh, Mark Slattimore going to the NFL draft this year, uh, I'm going to go with South Carolina. Uh, the Capital One Bowl, number seven, Georgia, who fell way too low in my opinion, and number 16, Nebraska. 11-2, Georgia, 10-3, Nebraska. I'm taking the dogs on this one. i got to go with the dogs. 
uh, Wisconsin and number six Stanford in the Rose Bowl. Eight and five Wisconsin, eleven and two Stanford. I'm taking Stanford. You're picking Stanford. I'm gonna go with the upset. I'm gonna pick Wisconsin. Wisconsin showed me a lot in their last game. Even though Stanford had to beat UCLA twice to get here, I was thinking Wisconsin will win. All right, and the final January 1st game, 15, number 15, North Illinois at number 12, Florida State in the Orange Bowl. The first, this is the BCS Bowl that is crap. Yeah. I mean, 10-2 Louisville against a 11-1 Florida. I'm going to take my gators on this one. We're at North Illinois and Florida State. Oh, okay. Number one, North Illinois and 11 and 2, Florida State. I'm taking the Seminoles. Like I said, this is the BCS Bowl that is crap. If you watch the BCS show, uh, watch to who they put in what BCS Bowl, even the commentators were saying this is crap. North Illinois went up way too much for just being number 19. Uh, they were ranked 21st when they beat number 19. They went up way too high. Uh, this game should have went to another, uh, maybe another ACC team. Because there's only one ACC in the BCS. They were thinking maybe, uh, I don't know who they were thinking. Uh, they had said Clemson might have had a shot. They, said, they had two or three other teams that said could have had a shot to play Florida State in the Orange Bowl. But just because... The BCS didn't want to put a non-conference winner in. They put North Illinois, the uh, no conference name winners in. Just uh, it's just crap, and Florida State is going to kill them. So tell us how you really feel. You know, I'm sorry. It just gives me when when you, I, you watch Kirk Herbstreet, uh, who loves the BCS say that the BCS made a crappy decision on this. Yeah, it's, I agree. It's just, what were they thinking? I don't know. To don't quote know. the angry video game nerd, what were they thinking? <laughs> All right, now January 2nd, number 21, Louisville, and number 3, Florida. I'm taking the Gators on this one. Uh, you got to go with the floor. Got to go with the Gators. So this is the Sugar Bowl. I didn't say that. But you should know that, but... Uh, all right, January 3rd, the Fiesta Bowl featuring number four, Oregon, and number five, Kansas State. And there's the Ducks. Uh, I'm picking the Ducks on this one. They're both 11-1. and one. I'm going to take the Ducks. I'll pick against you. I'll pick Kansas State. Uh, the third place winner of the Heisman, well, the third, these, who placed third in their Heisman ranking is going to play for Kansas State. I think they'll win it. Uh, January 4th, the Heisman winner, Johnny Football, and Texas, number 9, Texas A&M, playing number 11, Oklahoma, in the Cotton Bowl. Both of them are ranked 10 and 2. I'm taking Texas A&M. With Texas A&M beating Alabama, it showed that a freshman quarterback is going to kill whoever they play. So Texas A&M wins this one. Uh, January 5th, we have another no-name we have two more no-name bowls for the national championship. First off, Pittsburgh and Ole Miss in the Compass Bowl. Both teams ranked six and six. Uh, I'm going with Ole Miss on this one. Uh, I'm remembering that Ole Miss had to win the Egg Bowl between them and Mississippi State to get bowl eligible. Uh, I think they'll carry that uh, momentum in and win their bowl game. Uh, January 6th, we have number 25, Kent State and Arkansas State in the GoDaddy.com combo. 11-2 Kent State against a 7-5 Arkansas State. I'm taking Kent State. Uh, yeah, Kent State is... It's, it's the only team I... It's the team that North Illinois beat to get in a BCS Bowl, but Kent State wasn't even that good. So, whatever... I'll, it's whatever. And finally, we get to our uh, national championship game. Number two, Alabama, and number one, Notre Dame. 12 and one, Alabama, 12 and over Notre Dame. I'm going with Fighting Irish. You're going to go Notre Dame to beat Alabama. Yep. 
you got a uh, let's do this. How about a score prediction? You got a score prediction for oh. this? 28-14. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah. Well, that is a very, very, uh, you know, I thought it's, it's, what's the word prediction? I'm thinking? It's very, it's not prediction. Uh, very, very similar to me because I picked Alabama, but I, I said it was going to be 28-14 Alabama. The word see there, I you see your sheet and I guessed it. So we'll see who wins that one. All right, we. Uh, that's what we're going to have to do. All right, and this is uh, Six Lee Sam signing out. And this is Rich Rich Richardson Reed the Third. Peace out, brother. We'll see you next year. Yep. Next year.